don't make them lose focus on what Bob Marley's intention was. It was about... Blessed love, my viewers and subscribers. Well, go on. Open all doing good, open all doing great. Now we're there again on the Soul Chat TV with another Muta Baruka content. People, this one is a pretty interesting topic. Muta Baruka unleash some secret that the system have been hiding from us about Bob Marley. Some things that they will never share in the general public about Bob Marley. And this is really, really serious. Before we go into it, you know it's a black power movement. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Also share it with one friend or a family so they can be a part of the black power movement. And let's get straight into it and check out the secrets that the system don't show you are the side of Bob Marley that they have been hitting his whole movement. The stuff that the system gave us about Bob Marley is just one percent and that percent they use it for monetary purposes not the true thing that Bob Marley really stand for. So let's go into it and check out the Muta Baruka officer. There was no Rasta there would be no Bob Marley. And the philosophy and opinions of Bob Marley was shaped by the Rasta community. You have a virgin named Martin Plano. Martin Plano is almost like the, 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 what they call the growth. You know, them times they're in a trench town. You know? And him used to mentor Bob over the years. Bob Marley become an icon not only because of the music, but the militancy of the music, and that militancy come from Rastafari. The militancy of Bob come from Rastafari. We have to understand that. And we can't lose sight and focus on it. Because if we start to lose sight and focus on it, we have to feel say, all of Bob Marley songs, they must sing about one love, one heart, let's get together and be all right. Africa unite. Jump Naya Binky. Black supremacy. All them things that Black Ma Bob Marley sing about. People seem to be forgetting that the man was talking about, I feel like Bob in a church. Because the preacher is telling a lie. People forget him, say, building church and university, deceiving the people continuously. Graduating thief and murderers. People forget Bob Marley sing, don't touch a politician to grant you no favor. Because he will always want to control you forever. These songs is indelible. It's indelible. But we know and we understand that they would have picked out one song for almost soften, soften the movement and the potency of what Rastafari is all about. So that is why I will leave our ones turn out. Because them say the money, the monetary aspect of Bob Marley get big and in a freedom world money is power Solid. money is power but the liberty the cultural manifestation of Rastafari that Bob spread all over the world that a whole heap of people now can even relate to Rastafari in a different way you know a virgin sing say you don't have to love me just respect me Bob and they sing it Bob and they sing it you don't have to love me, but just respect me. And the serious thing, that is where we see this movie I've done. That is where we see Bob Marley I've done. That you may not love Rastafari, you may not love Bob Marley, but the respect is due where respect is given. And we, over the years, have recognized how important the cultural aspect of Rastafari is to the world. And especially to black people. Because we can't lose sight of the African contents. Africa unite. That is what is the message. We can't lose focus on that. We can't skip around it and go around the corner and go around and say, well, you know, we must all come together and unite. Because all of us is one blood and all of them something. 
That is not the point. But man is singing about black people redemption. This is a black man redemption. I don't remember them tune there. He must sing about black man redemption. And that is the focus of him whole life. When he might go to Zimbabwe, he might go to free at them pay them playing for Bob Marley pay. He mentioned everybody playing for go to Zimbabwe. Or sing about Natty Jordan and Zimbabwe. We don't want to lose focus on that and attack my Rasta version them. And sit in them. Don't make them lose focus on what Bob Marley intention was. It was about uniting the African continent and bringing black people to a level of consciousness that they can be aware of themselves so as to so allow others to respect us and we show respect to them. Then now we can talk about let's get together and be all right. But so true. my sister, you know, my, my father, Emperor, let's say, until that day, we Africans will fight if it is necessary because we are confident in the victory of good over evil. And Bob Marley can reiterate that speech of Haile Selassie and has made it so potent out there that people even try to miscue it. But we, I say, let us put the thing into perspective that this movie can be a relevant awakening to the consciousness and the minds of the people them who watch it. That it's about Rastafari and the contribution of Rastafari to the cultural manifestation of African redemption. Ari. Here I'm out about officer about that. So it's your time now for leaving the thoughts and opinion. And like we hear one officer. Trust me. They have been sugarcoating a lot of things about Bob Marley. And the truth, the truth is out there. Those who are eager for the truth will find the truth. So I already make a video on Muta Burka Thoughts and the One Love movie. So I'm going to watch it again for those who haven't seen it. So you can have awareness of things that is going on in the Rasta community. We want to talk about Bob Marley, One Love. We're not going to give a critique of the movie. We're just going to say, talk about the relationship between what transpired in the movie and the audience that was present there. I was one of those who was invited because of my cameo. Um, presentation in the movie. Now, you know, I'm sitting at the movie, I'm sitting at the, 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 the theatre, and I talk to my wife and I say, well, this is something else, see? Imagine when you look at the crowd outside and the people them who is outside, including the Prime Minister of Jamaica and the opposition leader, and two of the royal family of England. Not to mention all the people them who I know say is years on them a picnic them not go a carib. Cause most of them would have never find themselves below crossroad. This is a Rasta man who's projected and portrayed in a movie. Maybe. With all the bad word them according to them, all the ganja smoking them. And all the drumming of the Rastaman them in the movie. This movie was able to draw everybody. And I sit there and I tell you the truth, some tears come on my eye. Why the tears come on my eye? Because when I just start sight Rastafari, there is no way Rasta would have on the screen. As a matter of fact, there was no way a Rasta man could have go a carib. Not to mention a Rasta man who are going to be a foot. Because you have signed upon the door. I tell you, say, no shirt, no this, no that, no shoes, no entry. And I live to see the Rasta man 
ideas and philosophy is pushed out on that big screen. And people who I know say, don't like Rasta. And if them pick me, did they ever come into the house and say, they must go side Rasta. They must have run them out immediately. Come and know you to come to me and say, why they have a problem with them peer? And I say, why? Because they must go say, I listen to say, and I smoke herbs. Them, them, the, the, the parents say, them no want them in the house. As a matter of fact, and I swear to this, one youth come to me, uptown youth, and say, his mother tell him, say, I better I'm going to turn a Batman than go to turn Rasta. You hear me say? The mother say, I better you go to turn a Batman than go to turn a Rasta. Now, this is the thing where we did go through. We go through some serious cut off locks, beaten to death, run up where in the hills and mountain, can't come a street. For you come a street, is just persecuted. Not only by police, but by the normal common people, them. Them never like Rasta. Now we say it reaches a stage you now where a celebration of Rastafari is projected on a big screen. A man who look and do all the things them that is abomination to the system and him sing against the system. Now we see the system hug him up and the thing with them hug him up is one song, one love, one heart, let's get together and be all right. Look here man, first of all, a lot of the lyrics to that song was written by Curtis Mayfield from the impression, dead now. That song was made from in the Ska era. The Ska era. That was like a song where you have in a Jovic and you say, put where the gun them and the bomb, too much killing are going in our country. It was made for the times in Jamaica because even in that time, you did have bully for criminal and gun activities that go on. And it's a very important part of the whole thing that right now we see that movie is going to make millions and it's going to bring millions to Jamaica in terms of tourism and the popularity that Jamaica achieved in the 60s and 70s. It's going to come forward again. All right, people, so... You know it go. Leave any thoughts and opinion down in the comment section. And as we tell us, uh, this is a great look for Rasta, far right culture, you know, and the liberty and everything. Hopefully, people can, you know, have a awareness and at least have a good expectation when them see a Rasta, you know. And that's all we, we we pursue, like peace and love. That's that's it, you know. It's a big, big move, people. Big, big, a really big move. Millions of people are gonna see this. So just imagine that. Millions of people, life is going to change after watching this and seeing the perspective and the whole aspect and movement of Bob Marley. So people, leave any thoughts and opinion down in the comment section. Let me, tell, let me know what you think about this move and you know the movie and all of that. I haven't watched it as yet because obviously it isn't drop as yet, but it will be dropping on the 14th. I've definitely been checking it out and sharing my thoughts and all of that. So people, you know it's a black power movement, so drop a like and subscribe and also share it with a friend or a family. And I'll catch you in the next one, Irie.